Well, we're coming to uh, Hamilton Island to get fuel, and uh, we've paid for a berth for two hours, 40 bucks. We're going to do some shopping, and uh, at least we can get the aircon stinking hot today, eh? Well, we don't wear skimpy bikinis. Hell, it frightens me when I take my shirt off. There's definitely no one pregnant here. This is motor sailing for old dudes. We do live on a boat, and we do cruise extensively along the Australian coast. Join us and visit some great destinations. Learn how to look after a boat and live off grid. It might even get you enthused to do the same thing. Hey, stay out there till you can't. into the new IGA at Hamo. Well, a pleasant night at uh, the back of Shore Island. There's four or five other boats uh, anchored up in there with us. It was pretty calm, we had a really good sleep, so uh, we're up relatively early, it's about uh, six o'clock, and uh, we've plotted a course in for the Percy's. Probably put us there about 10 o'clock tonight at this speed, but um, we may pick up a little bit if the wind gets up, very calm at the moment. Anyhow, we'll see how we go. If we can get to the Percy's, that knocks a big chunk out of the trip, that's for sure. But uh, no sailing at the moment, very calm and uh, yeah, just under motors alone. Good one, Baz. Whatever that keeps the ocean in motion. Can I 
it's another really hot day and uh, we're just off Mackay now. We've left some bees and we're heading for Percy Island Group. We had another eight hours of travel, but um, the traveling's pleasant, but unfortunately no wind to, to get the sail out, so. We've pretty well got the sail rolled up and uh, not doing much. Maybe it'll come back later this afternoon. Well, the end of another uh, beautiful day. We had a bit of sail out this morning, but the winds got very light, uh, even before lunch, and uh, the sail hasn't done much all day, so we've uh, put it away. We're making for Middle Percy Island, and uh, we'll anchor up behind there tonight. So, the travelling's been really good, the travel's been fantastic, but the speed hasn't been all that great because we haven't been able to use the sail to uh, give us that bit of a lift. But it's uh, been a pretty pleasant day out in the water here, wouldn't you agree, Baz? Sure has. Just uh, one little beer before we uh, get ready for dinner. This is the view we got this morning when we woke up. Uh, we came in here in the dark last night about uh, 10 o'clock. So um, this is uh, West Bay at South Percy Island. Great little A-frame over there, but we're not gonna go ashore and visit it this morning. We're gonna fire the boat up and make a few more miles. We've still got this northerly. Bit of brekkie first. When you're travelling in this area, you've always got to uh, deal with tides. When we left this morning, we were doing 5.2 knots, we're doing 3.1 now. There's no wind and it's all because of the tide. Uh, around Mackay, the tides are really high. They have, have up to uh, six metre tides in this area. And with that much water going up and down as it moves in between the islands and the mainland, it really sets up quite a current so we're probably pushing about two knots of water at the moment it'll only last until the tide turns and then we'll get a lift off it but um, yeah it does make progress pretty slow anyhow it's a pleasant day out here and we've just got to enjoy that Just passing uh, Island Head Creek now, and it's uh, unusually vacant at this time of the year. You'd normally see anything up to 30 boats anchored in there, but um, at this time of the year, not too many cruising boats around. We've only seen two other boats on the water uh, in our travels today, so not as many people cruising this late in the season. We're heading past here, we're going to head a bit further down to Pearl Bay. It's probably another hour away. Uh, that'll give us a bit better shelter out of this wind. And uh, we've got a bit of tide with us now, so we're doing around about seven knots as opposed to the three or four knots we were doing earlier. So we're gonna use the tide while it's running this way and uh, make a few extra miles. And Pearl Bay should be pretty good for an anchorage for tonight.
you put that can you put that snubber on? Society. So Barry, what do you think about getting into an anchorage before dark? It's much better getting into anchor before dark than after dark. Another great sunset at sea. We've had uh, a very pleasant one today from Pearl Bay down to Great Keppel Island. Uh, we won't get there till after dark, unfortunately. Probably about eight o'clock we'll uh, anchor up. But it's been a pretty pleasant trip. The wind's uh, around to the east northeast and it's given us a good lift all the way down. So we've been averaging probably around about six knots, 6.2 knots on the trip down, which has been great. But anyway, it'll be good to uh, get in there tonight and uh, get a bit of shelter, have a bit of dinner and uh, have a bit of sleep. Once again, getting into an anchorage after dark. I'll have to stop doing this. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe, it really helps us out. And uh, next week, we'll be taking you through the Narrows down to Gladstone. Cheers, dudes. <laughs>